31 years later, after the murder of Umkondo Wesizwe activist Ashley Creel, his family still finds it hard to come to terms with his passing. I feel that the justice system has failed us. And I, I, I believe not only us, there's many other families which the justice system have failed because um, our call is for the murderers that murdered and maimed our family members, they should be brought to book. And um, for, it's over years now. It's now, like we said, the 31st anniversary. And the family has called before, but nothing has been done thus far. The Western Cape ANC Youth League believes that not enough is done to celebrate the lives of struggle icons. Whatever Ashley stood for and others stood for, other heroes of our struggle stood for the likes of Peter Mokaba, the likes of Colleen Williams, the, the, the likes of many others, that, the, 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 that, that what they stood for forms a basis of our political education. Kosadu in the province also echoed the call for the snail pace investigations to speed up. The NPA has been dealing with things for since 2016. I think it's about time that the investigation must come to an end. We can't have an investigation that is going, it's an ongoing thing. While the family is still suffering, while the family can't close the chapter, they would like to close the chapter, but how can they close the chapter if there's no uh, true answers? Although we, we've known that the person that was implicated has applied for amnesty, amnesty was granted, but the world knows that he was not truthful on, on the events. And that is really a sore point for us, it's a sore point for the family, it's a sore point, sore point for the country as a whole. And we share the sentiment that we need to speed up the investigation so that we can find closure in, in his death. Closure for the Creel family might be on the cards as the Hawks reopen the investigations into the death of anti-apartheid activist. Although Creel's life was taken away at the tender age of 20, he will be remembered for paying the ultimate price for freedom. Nasi Pisame, Afro Worldview, Cape Town.